Hi, this is Bilal from Work and Solution Agency. We will discuss the last fourth lesson today. In this session, we will address the following topics that are commission, payment fee, handling fee, and VAT like value added tax and Google Trend. So first and foremost, we must all recognize what we are truly required to pay to the uh, government and the RAS in, uh, in response to our sales. The RAS commission, uh, the RAS commission on sales is the first item. The RAS has collected commission from sellers across various categories. It is compulsory, right? And it, it will be different uh, or different or di it will be different uh, categories right then payment fee taken by the RAS which is 1.75 percent on sale again a compulsory thing then value added tax well that is third value added tax we must give the government this fee in accordance with the rules and laws governing sale tax uh, and it differs from various regions such as Punjab, Islamabad and Azad Kashmir we must pay 16% 13% in Sin and 15% in Haber Pukhtukhan and so on just keep in mind that there are sub subtract a VAT from shipping cost the good news is that there are self pays uh, VAT on behalf of its sellers so you don't have to worry about that Instead, you just have to deduct it from your sales. Then at the last handling fee, handling fee is the final one. There are occasionally, you know, charge uh, a handling fee for various goods, but occasionally does not. Uh, in the future, we will talk about which products there are will charge um, a handling fee for the handling fee charges for each product is just five rupees plus value added tax on that so in order to you know uh, in order to access the daraz commission tab first we open the RAS in front of you okay and once you open the RAS, you need to click on account and setting and then profile and finally you received the tab of commission over there you just click on that one so subsequently you can view various groups that are imposed various commission rate let's suppose i'm selling a product with the price of 500 rupees okay and that product uh, related to kitchen and dining and there are charge 13.30 so let's do a simple math right now for you guys i'm selling a product with the price of 500 rupees right the RAS will charge 13.30 from my side minus 13.30 and then need to click on percent day so 66.5 I need to deduct as a commission to the RAS right and in these categories uh, there are some subcategories as well as you can see bedding and bath you can see bath and bedding they got uh, like different uh, commission rates okay so what I can do I can give you the physical example right now so I just go to the, the RAS so let's suppose uh, I'm selling a product with the price of $380 right and let's go to the calculation and so on okay so what I can do right now all right sorry about that okay I think that would be good all right so I'm selling a product uh, with a price of 380 okay and what is the Daraz Commission the last Commission uh, you know is nine person so we simply multiply 380 into nine divided by 100 so we will get that the RAS commission actually what we have to pay against com uh, commission to the RAS that is 
as I can see in my actual uh, like sheet you can see bio naked eyes commission fee is 34.20 that is deducted by the RAS from my side then payment fee payment fee which is 1.75 of product selling price so what I can do 380 multiplied by 1.75 percent so I get the payment fee which is 6.65 so payment fee is 6.65 those are those two things I deducted from my account then I move to the handling fee and what is handling fee deducted by the RAS plus 0 0.80 VAT on it so sum is 5.80 in one product so the RAS is deducted handling fee 5.80 from my account all right if I can scroll down the page as you can see logistics and fulfillment services 5 and VAT on that is 0 0.8 okay so 0 0.8 0 so it's 5.80 in total they will charge from my side okay these are the three things the first is the last commission payment fee and at the end is handling fee now we should go to the value added tax this is what we have to pay uh, to government uh, against our sales so the VAT is 16%, 13% or 15% on shipping, whatever customer pay. So what is the shipping price? You can see shipping fee is 189. That doesn't concern with us. Uh, that shipping cost will pay by our customer. Okay. We only just have to pay value added tax on the shipping fee. So shipping fee is 189. So what I can do, if I can uh, multiply 189 into uh, like 16%, so I get this value, which is 30.24. But the RAS is deducted from our side 29.88, which is less than 30.24. We will happy with that. That's, that's not an issue at all. Okay. But calculation is similarly same okay so 29.88 so in total if I can sum uh, all these expenses so I have to pay 36.53 to the RAS like all the taxes commissions as well right and let's suppose uh, I purchase this product with the price of 225 and I sell it after paying all those taxes and commission on 380 so what I'm gaining is 78 rupees on per product okay this is something you know uh, you are gaining you are getting out of one product okay so let's suppose if you are selling like 300 units so you will get uh, like 23,000 and something like that so this is the actual calculation you can do by your own self before uploading, before listing your product. And I recommended you guys to do these uh, calculation by your own self. Okay. And uh, this sheet you will get in my description. If anyone needs, you can email or you can send me uh, a message. I can send it to you. That's not an issue. Finally, I just go to the last topic which is Google Trend. What I can do right now, let's suppose I want to sell uh, a product and uh, which uh, is, let's suppose, kids toy. Let's suppose I want to sell a product, kids toy. Okay. And I can see the prices, each and everything. So what I have to do, I just go to the Google and type in Google trend over there click on the first link and first of all check the marketplace it should be Pakistan so we have to see the marketplace right to see the trend and over there 
over there I just need to type in our uh, my product name which is uh, kids toy that's it I just need to see the Google trend remember one thing Google trend doesn't mean this is the actual purchasing that customer done in the past right Google trend only shows how much a product is in trending or not if the graph you know is fluctuating rapidly and touch touches the last line so you know product is seasonal and I recommend you don't go for seasonal products okay over there you can see the past one year Google trend so see uh, if I wanna you know go for a kids try being a seller so it's Google trend is comparatively a good one right so before the uh, before the uploading of any product you should check the Google trend as well whether it is good or not so this is all about we cover in this session like commission payment fee handling fee value added text Google trend if you got any kind of difficulties please you know you can comment you can uh, send me an uh, send me a message whatever it is okay and if you like my content please like subscribe and share and help each other right uh, through this uh, content and uh, i will come with another video soon thank you so much